Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of What's in My Closet. So this is your host, Dicho Sports. Got new jerseys coming out for you guys today. We got the Boca Juniors episode today. So I have four Boca jerseys that I want to show you guys today, going back all the way from 2005, all the way up to the last few seasons or so. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications button so you never miss any of my videos. Make sure you follow me on all my socials, underscore at Dicho Sports on Instagram, regular just Dicho Sports on Twitter and TikTok as well. Now that we got that out of the way, Let's jump straight into the jersey. The first one that I have and the oldest one that I have is this 2005 anniversary edition Boca Junior. As you guys can see, this jersey celebrates the 100 years of Boca. You have there in the middle, 1905 to 2005. You got the X symbolizing the 100 year century. I like the design of this jersey. I like how the Nike is all the way at the top like that instead of just regularly on the side. Consequently, I like how the logo for Boca is in the middle and not just on the side as well. I like the traditional shades of blue and yellow that they have. I know sometimes they've gone a little bit darker, but I like the traditional colors. I really like how the X, part of it is yellow and part of it is blue, just like the jersey. It's a cool feature to have. Now on the side, I like the Goodyear design right there. I like it because it's coming straight down instead of just horizontally, it comes straight down. Overall, I really like this jersey. It fits a little bit bigger, especially towards the bottom. That's just how it was made at the time. No player on the back of this one. As you guys can see, I didn't get a player for this one. In this specific jersey, a lot of my favorite Boca players had already left Boca at the time. It was a weird little transitional period at the time. I like the commemorative jerseys. I have the AC Milan one with a different logo. I have the Barcelona 1899 jersey as well. So I like buying the ones that are slightly different. And like I said, the X, just the X by itself in the middle, no sponsors in the middle. That just makes up the whole jersey for me. So for this upcoming jersey, I already did a full video on it so you guys can go ahead and check it out. The link is in the description below. But I'm talking about 2015, 2016, Boca home jersey. This is one of my favorite ones. It's super simple, but it's one of my favorites. I like how the logo takes up most of the middle and it's not a logo. So the words don't really stand out as much as they do. Like for example, with United, you got the Chevy that's super big. I like just like the way that it looks. It goes, it fits with the jersey. You got some sponsors here on the sides of the sleeves as well. You turn it around. The silver numbers really make the difference between this jersey and other ones. I like the sponsor at the top and as always got to leave those on the bottom. The number right there, a little bit of silver. I really like this jersey. If you guys want to see me go into more detail, go ahead and check out the second episode of What's in My Closet. The link is in the description below. Number three comes from that exact same season, but we're going to look at the away jersey. So the away jersey looked something like this, which to me, this is this is majestic. This is beautiful. I like when Boca has the white jerseys more than the yellow jerseys. I think it looks really cool, especially when they have the blue and yellow in the middle as well. So you got the three main colors from Boca right there. I like how they always try to keep that line in between. Whenever they have that line in between with the different shades, I think it looks really cool. I like the colors in the middle. They're a little bit darker than the home jersey, but the, the contrast between the darker colors and the yellow really makes up for it. So I got one of my favorite Boca players of all time of course the GOAT Martin Palermo. Palermo wasn't playing with Boca at this time he had already retired but this jersey actually comes to me from my uncle so quick shout out to my uncle he sent me all the jerseys that he doesn't have he said hey I heard you like some jerseys I'm gonna send him over some he is a big fan of Palermo the same way that I am so he likes getting Palermo jerseys customized and it's always cool to end up having a Palermo jersey I love this jersey I haven't been able to wear it just yet but I really like the way that it looks. I like the contrast between the white and the dark colors. And of course, you got, you got the goat in the back. Last but not least, this is the newest Boca jersey that I have. This is the 2018-19 Boca home jersey. Before I started this channel and I started doing what's in my closet, I was just doing a jersey challenge on my own personal Instagram, and this was the first jersey that I did. Now, one of the first things that I noticed about this jersey was the shade of the color compared to the more traditional lighter blue, lighter yellow. This is a little bit darker, especially the yellow is more orangey than yellow. The blue is a little bit more darker. I still like the way that it looks. This was the first season with Qatar Airways. You got sponsors here on the side. You got the Libertadores patch right there, which is a cool little feature. 
more Libertadores patches. And on the back, I didn't get a player for this one specifically. I already had a Tevez one. Um, this was the season where Pavon was getting ready to leave. Benedetto got ready to leave. So there wasn't really a player that I was really too into Boca at the time. So I decided So I decided to not go with a player. This was also the first season that Daniele De Rossi came in. So I knew a lot of Boca fans had that Rossi jersey. I was never personally a big fan. So I decided to just keep it cool, keep it simple, and just go with this traditional look. Hey, that's all the Boca jerseys that I have. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. So remember, I only post real jerseys on this channel if the jersey is not real i won't be posting it i have other boca jerseys that i own but they're not real so i decided to exclude them from this video either way i got four cool boca jerseys that i own let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section below always feel free to check out my instagram follow me on twitter follow me on tiktok do all that good stuff make sure you hit that subscribe button that notifications button so you never miss a thing show in the morning and as always guys thanks for rocking with me see you guys next time